Hello, Stampers. How are you guys tonight? It is Wednesday, January 13th. Oh my goodness, where is the time going? It's going so fast and yet it's going so slow. But anyway, I am Jennifer Kirk. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator from Guelph, Ontario. And we're going to play again with the Sweet Ice Cream Bundle. I have had so much fun with this. The colors are bright and cheery. It's perfect for birthdays. And it's just really happy. <laughs> so I've been I've been going towards this this set for a lot of cards lately. Um, I don't know if it's the colors, I don't know if it's the cheeriness, but I just love it, love it, love it, love it. So we are going to make this card tonight. I am just going to get set up on Facebook here before we get going too fast, so that I can get some comments we got to see them we got to sort it out is anyone having trouble with um facebook lately not being able to see comments i can see that people are here leave a comment so i can see if my comments are actually working hopefully you guys are doing well um i'm still trying to figure it out let's see all right well i'm not getting any comments popping up so it says it's on quiet mode and then it goes off a of quiet mode and then it goes back on quiet mode so I'm not ignoring you oh there we go I just got comments hi Sharon how are you they just popped up so we are going to make this card how fun is this eh it's just so cute this is called a double z fold card um and it's a really good way to demonstrate your designer series paper like isn't this cute love it and then if you do want to write we could put a panel here because there's not a lot of room if you want to write a note to somebody on this card um, but we can just put a piece of paper on the back here and stamp it and you can also write hi, hi martine how are you you having a good day uh good week good month hopefully good year <laughs> um yeah so we can add a panel here so that we have more room to to uh write but isn't this cute Love it, love it. I just love this paper. I don't know. I know Blackberry Bliss is my favorite color. Um, maybe that's why I like this sweet so much. I don't know. Anyway, I just love it. So this is the uh, stamp set that we're going to be using. Um, and it comes in a bundle with a punch. Um, there's, It's part of a whole suite. So I'll just really quickly, I've, I've shown all the paper and everything before. But I'll just really quickly, in case I have people here that haven't seen, um, it's part of a suite here, and I am on my third or fourth pack of DSP. That's how much I've been using these cards. Um, so the DSP comes with these gorgeous sprinkles, some beautiful Blackberry Bliss ribbon, and then the bundle. So, let's get stamping. I hope you guys are doing really well. Okay. So what do we need to do this card? We need a piece. That's, I'm hoping my brain is gonna function tonight. <laughs> Let me move this out of the way. We need a piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock. Okay, so this is just um, a normal piece of paper cut in half. So we're just cutting it this way. Hi, Miriam, how are you? Um, so this is four and a half by 11. And then we're gonna score it in half at five. And then we're gonna score that in half again and that is at two oh my goodness I can't do math two and three quarters and then what we're going to do is we would take it and we'd fold it in half along the score line and then we're going to fold it the opposite direction along the other score line so that we're going to create if you put it this way it's creating a z okay so that's why we call it a z fold so I'll just do that again we scored at five and a half Scored at two and three quarters. Okay, so it's five and a half, two and three quarters. Fold it in half, burnish it, fold it in half the other way, and then burnish it. Okay, and that gives us our Z this way, Z fold. All right, so that's the base. Then we have a piece of purple posy, and this one measures nine by three and a quarter. And we score it at three, and we score it at six, and then we do the same thing. We kind of fold it in opposite directions so that we're creating another Z. 
okay? So if this is your piece here, you're going to fold one over and one in and create a Z. And then this is how our card is going to go together. So that's going to attach there, that's going to attach there, and then it's going to open together. Okay, does that make sense? When I was trying to write it, and this is why I'm doing this card, I was going to do a different card tonight, but why I'm doing this card is when I was trying to write it in a tutorial, it was a little bit confusing of um, how to get that Z fold together. So I thought I would do a video to help. Hey, Laurel, how's it going? All right, the other measurements that we need then is a piece of DSP. Um, and this is, uh, what is it? It's four by five and a quarter. Okay, we need another D piece of DSP and this goes on the front panel. And this is um, two and a half by four. And I'm gonna put all these measurements um, in my blog and I'll put a link to my blog um, after this video. Okay, and then we need another piece of DSP. So it uses lots of DSP um, for two and three quarters. Oh no, wait, is this two and three quarters by three? Yes, it is two and three quarters by three. Okay, so that's another. And then we have two pieces of Whisper White that we need. And these are two and three quarters by three. So they're the same size as that. Okay, and then this is the piece that goes on the back if you want to do it for writing. And I already gave you those measurements. All right. So it's a great folding. And you know what? It's, it is really easy. It looks complicated, but it's not, and it's fun. So I hope you like it. All right, so let's get this together. Actually, let's stamp first. So when we do, so when I did this ice cream cone here, um, I used a piece of um, cinnamon cider paper and then I just stamped with we have this really cute little um, pattern here and I stamped with cinnamon cider the other thing that you can do is the DSP so if you look at the back of the DSP this is exactly like a waffle cone so you could you can see I've punched a whole bunch you can just punch out the waffle cone so that's probably what we're gonna do so I won't bother stamping that all right, so let's, ooh, I have too many pieces of paper everywhere. So what you do want to do is make sure that you have your white going in the right direction because they are a bit different. You don't want them this way, okay? You want it this way. So for stamping, we want to do it this way. So I'm going to stamp the front first. I'm going to change this up a little bit and I'm going to do a thank you card instead of another birthday card. So... I'm using Blackberry Bliss, and I still want to get um, the sentiment is over to the right. I'm feeling really claustrophobic. I have so much on my desk right now. Um, we do want this over to the right. Okay, and I should have a pad underneath me, but I don't. So let's just hope I stamp okay. And I'm gonna clean it off in my well-loved chamois. Look at how gross this is. It's actually not gross. You don't actually get ink out of it when I run it because I just wet it. Um, all right, and then for the inside, I wanna do just You Melt My Heart. So I'm just gonna ink that up. I really need to re-ink my um, Blackberry Bliss. So I'm gonna put this one, again, you wanna make sure it's the paper's going in the right direction. Otherwise you'll be using the back side of it. <laughs> and then, I am going to do some sprinkles. So I'm going to stamp off. So by stamping off, what it means is I'm inking up straight. I'm going to stamp off on scrap and then stamp on my project. And it just gives me the same tone as my sentiment, but it's a little bit lighter. And you could stamp off again and get it even lighter. Okay. So that's it for stamping. We are done with the ink. So let me put it away so I don't get my fingers and project covered in it. And we're ready to put this card together. Look at how easy it is, eh? Do you ever feel discombobulated? <laughs> I'm like, where, where do I go? All right, so we want this on the inside. We want this on the outside. And we want this on the inside. So let's go ahead and glue. And I even got a new Tombow out for you guys so that... You don't have to see me struggle to get the uh, 
the last little bit out of my bottle because I am, you know, I sit there with, I have like four bottles on the go and they're all upside down trying to get the, every last drop out of it. <laughs> I'm silly. All right, so we're just going to glue that on. This one, again, we want it to go so that we have equal border around the outside, not top. Well, you can do it whatever you want, as long as you're consistent, but I want equal border. So what are you guys doing? Uh, hey, Sandy, how are you? Um, are you guys having a good week? Are you... Uh... So I guess this is our last night before the stay-at-home order comes in. Effect. Hopefully, people will... Um... Hopefully people will stay at home like we're supposed to and we can get through this. I hope. All right, so then we're going to stick this down. I got ink on there. We're gonna ignore that. I'll put some sprinkles on there or something. All right, so we have the inside of our card done now. So now let's get the base done. So now we're just gonna glue this piece on here. And there's some more of that cool cone. I love that waffle. I don't know why I stamped the first one when I have that. All right. So hopefully everyone um, is safe and doing well. Okay, that's that. And I'm trying to reorganize my stamp room. Oh, that's a challenge. You know what, though? It feels so good, Sharon, when you get that done. I did it over the holidays, and um, it just, it's just refreshing. You can get creative again. I don't, I've had uh, a couple times where I've just been like, oh, I just can't get the creative juices flowing. So I reorganized my stamp room, and that, that helped. All right. So... We're almost done this card. My goodness, I went really fast. Um, before I start gluing this down, what I am gonna do is adhere the vellum. So this is just one of our square doily vellums from the annual catalog, and I just cut it in half. Um, these are beautiful, and a lot of people miss them in the annual catalog. And they just add a really nice, subtle um, embellishment. So. I am going to just put a little bit of glue on the back here and stick it on. It's going to be a little bit messy, but that's okay. And there we go. So I just want it equal distance. And I don't want to stick my finger in there because then I will have glue everywhere. Oh, well, I'll put my pinky in and then it won't matter. I won't hopefully get it all over my project. I will. You know me. I'll get glue everywhere. That's what I do. All right, so now to put this together, you want to get this centered, okay? So the best way to do it, I find, somebody may have a, a different way that works, is not get this on here, see? That's why I didn't want the glue there. Um, the best way I find is to put glue on the back of here and center this piece and then glue the flap down, all right? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stick some glue on here. You haven't seen the this DSP, Sandy? Yeah, Laurel, that's a, a messy craft room. It's just, it, it adds to my chaos of my life and I just, I can't create if my room is messy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do then is, so we're, we're talking about cleaning up craft rooms. I want to get this centered so that I'm equal distance here, here, and I'm okay when this folds over. So I need to move it over a little bit, you can see. Okay. And we want it to fit just like that. So you see? So I just kind of eyeballed it. I did have to move it from where I originally put it. And I just eyeballed it so that it is going to fit where I want it to go. Okay? You see that? So equal distance here, and then a, a, a decent margin here, okay? Easy peasy, eh? All right, so then what we wanna do is we wanna stick this down. 
we don't want um, glue here. We don't want glue over here. So the easiest way is just to stick a little bit of glue here. That's a bit too much glue. That is, hopefully it's not gonna squeeze out everywhere and make a big mess. Um, it just came out too fast because it's a new glue stick or new glue thing. All right, okay. See how it goes together? All right. So now we just have a little bit left to do. You don't use a tape runner, I find glue. No, I don't, Betty. I um, I like I like the um Tombow. I like to be able to. It is messy, and I get glue everywhere. Um, but I like to be able to wiggle because <laughs> I don't get things on straight. Um, and the liquid glue gives me the time to move it before. It, it adheres and sticks. When I use, I do use, um, not all the time, my, my, my prep, it depends on the projects, but I do use these types. It's a stamping seal plus and a stamping seal. So these are kind of like a tape runner. Um, I do use these, but I don't like doing them when I'm on camera because I can't get over top of the project for one thing. Um, but if I am doing a 3D project, I will definitely use the stamp seal. But I do love my Tombow. I just love that glue. Anyway, I digress. All right, so this is one of the DSPs. It's really cute on the back, um, but it has different colors of ice cream. And all you do is trim it because, you know, I've been cutting out a lot of ice creams, as you can see, and I can't get my punch in there. Um, all you do is, so here I'm going to have a little bit of white on the top. I don't really want that. So I'm going to do a purple ice cream. I could have trimmed this so I'm not wasting paper, but I'm not too worried about it. And a light purple ice cream. We're going to do a double decker. Who feels like an ice cream right now? What would be, what's your favorite ice cream? Okay, so we're going to stick that there. And then I had already pre-punched one, but I'll just do it again. So again, using the DSP. If you don't have the DSP, um, you can just use cinnamon cider and stamp. We do have this stamp that shows the uh, the cone pattern on it. But oh, I don't know what just happened. Mocha almond fudge. Mmm, that sounds like a yummy ice cream. That is a yummy ice cream. I haven't had ice cream in I don't know how long. Oh, maybe I need to go get some. Although that's not on my New Year's diet. <laughs> so I guess I can't. Anyone else doing a, a, some kind of a cleanse or a no alcohol January or... Anything like that? All right. I don't know why I use glue dots, but you can use glue dots. It's a perfect blend of coffee, chocolate, and almond. Black raspberry che cheesecake. Oh, Betty, I haven't tried that one. I will have to try that. That sounds delicious. I'm a, a Ben Jerry New York Super Chunk. Oh, you guys are making me hungry now. Oh. Ben Jerry, I've never heard of that. What is that like? Ben Jerry, New York Super Chunk. You gotta explain what that is. I don't know what that type of ice cream is. Okay, and then we're gonna stick this down. So I'm just going to put some glue on. And there we go. For you guys that are uh, doing my class, you don't want to look at this card because this is one of the cards that we're doing. <laughs> I was trying to write up the tutorial for the class and I couldn't get the directions to make sense to me. So I thought I better do a video so I can link it. So I changed up my card for this week and we're, we're doing this. All right, so the last thing that we're gonna do, so we can either put some of these sprinkles on. Look at these, aren't these cute? You can do multicolors. Um, or there is a stamp um, 
with sprinkles and you could color these with your markers and do all different colors on it. I'm not going to do that because I didn't stamp first and after before I glued. So I'm just going to do what I did on this one and I'm going to just put some uh, some some embellishments on here. So I'm just going to put a tiny little dot. I like to do these in a triangle. I'm not sure exactly why. It just looks a little bit more pleasing to the eye. And then I am going to use my Take a Pick tool because I don't have fingernails. And what colors should we do? Definitely a purple. So I'll do a purple over here. Should I do all purple? Or should we do different colors? What do you guys think? Chocolate ice cream with white chocolate pieces, walnuts, dark chocolate print. Oh, Sandy, that sounds awesome. I wonder if we can get that here in Canada. I don't know. All right. I am going to put a yellow one on here because purple and yellow go, go good together. And a blue one. What do you think? Do you guys like it? You melt my heart. I should have done these a bit lighter. It's a little, it takes away from the font a bit. Okay, and then if you want, if you like to send a note and do some writing, there's not a lot of room here. So you just need a piece of white cardstock, five and a quarter by four, stick it on, and you can stamp it, decorate it, and write a note. And that's it. Say toot. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, no, we can't get it in Canada, but Coat Lock ice cream is amazing. Coat, Cody Cook. Cody Cook, who who knows Cody Cook ice cream? I've never heard of it. And it is here in Canada? I'll have to go look. Um, so I'll take a note, Sandy, of that ice cream and the next time I go to the States, which who knows when that will be with <laughs> the way things are going. But the next time I go to the States, I'll have to try it because it sounds yummy to die for. Okay, so guys, we are done this card. It didn't take long. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me and for stamping with me. Um, I really enjoy this time to, you know, decompress from work, turn the news off, get away from all the stuff that's going on. Stamping has been my savior um, with everything, with all the stress and that of, you know, I can just come into my room and just escape from, from the world. So. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I will put all the measurements and supplies at the bottom. Uh, I'll put a link to my blog, actually, and I'll put all of this in my blog. And uh, I hope that you uh, like my video and share it. And we will see you next week. Don't forget, too, that I still have my celebration um, special on. So it's celebration time at Stamping Up, which means with every $60 order in Canada that you place, you get a free item from Stamping Up. Well, I've increased that and I also am giving a free um, uh, stamp kit, kit mailed to you uh, using some of the celebration items. So if you do buy from me, please do use this host code and I will send you a free kit in the mail to go along with your order. So have an awesome, awesome week. Happy stamping and thank God we can stamp. I know, eh, Martine? I don't know how people that don't stamp or that don't have a creative outlet are dealing with all of this because it's just the world is just crazy right now so keep stamping keep healthy and uh, we will talk soon have an amazing week bye for now